My name is Justin Thomas and I'm 43 years old. I've been working with CRD as an advocacy worker this year. Before that, uh, I've been doing a lot of um, training and motivational speaking, run workshops and that. Gets me out of this small little unit and I like to get out every day and go to work and things like that and do things. I'm very active. My name's Emma Lynette Brody, I'm 32. I work in the city. I'm an office assistant. I've been working for six years. I'm Frances and I'm Emma's mother. What are some of the tasks that you do? I clean all the levels in the kitchens, paper, paper tasks, tasks upstairs, and scanning and staples. Yeah, I do the mail, the keyboards. Are you happy working just, here? Just put proud. You're very proud. Mm -hmm. My name is Ronnie. I work up in IGA supermarket. They got me to sort out vet, fruit and vegetables. And then after that, I went upstairs. They gave me a lot of training to do. And I was put um, IGA pamphlets into the local papers and it keeps me busy too. My name is Fiona McKenzie and I, and I am 45 years old. I've been working at Coles for 12 years on cash registers, so I'm frontline. I guess what I really love about my job is I get to meet a whole range of people every single day. My name is Cecilia and I'm working at Coles. I work at Coles at 15 years. The best thing, cooking house, check out chips. I know jobs are hard to get, but work to me, it makes me feel proud and also it means save up for, for things what you need and also go on holidays. I don't think it's ever too late. I think you just have to, to look at that person and look at what their interests are and think of ways of helping them engage with those interests outside of home break routines because I think change is extremely difficult. So the more opportunity change is presented, the easier it is when it has to, has to come. I was very, very low self-esteem before. I was just a, um, a shy person with a, with a criminal record and that. You're going to work, you're building your confidence up, you're feeding your brain every day and, you know, it's it gives you something to look forward to as well and helps you feed your goals for later, what you want to do. So my advice for people with a disability who would like to work, find an employment agency, volunteer, I would talk to um, an advocacy organisation like CID and they can give you information. If you get into employment and that doesn't suit that person, it's important to keep looking and your um, employment agency that helps should be able to support you with that. So initially, the first job that Emma had phased out and job support, the DES that we um, were with, found Emma this job in the city. Thank you. You're welcome. I really told NDIS that I really need certain things to help me improve my work. They were able to supply me travel money to get to and from work because I was in far away back, back then. Right, so it's to help me communication with work. Port work coming once a week to help me 
with my internet stuff helped me go a long way and do applications and that, you know what I mean? I'll be still 30 years behind if I, if I didn't have that support. If you're on a subscription link and can declare your hours, um, they're more flexible with people with disability because they encourage people with disability to work. They can work a certain amount of hours per week, but they do get their disability support pension, so it's like an extra bit of income. Having that security of always having some pension because we never know how long um, people are going to be able to um, work, whether that environment that they're in is going to be successful for them. So I think it's really important to have a mixture and to have options. They allow you to work certain hours a week and to me it's, it's just an adjustable thing where I can keep my pension and work. Me getting a job in open employment gave me the opportunity to give back to the community. I love my job and I got a good boss and I got good workmates around me. If you haven't got friends, it could be, life could be miserable. Made some nice friends, haven't you? Yes, very close. And they're supportive? Yes, they are. It's helped me build my confidence up more and be more open. Never say never unless you give it a go.